Citrus growers in Lower Plaquemines Parish struggling to recover from the hurricanes of 2005 may now be put out of business by a new invasive species of weevil. A weevil whose larvae can literally eat away the roots of citrus trees. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine tells us, the Diaprepes root weevil has been contained in small citrus groves in Burris, but now researchers are scrambling to find an effective way to control the pest. Jerry Ragas looks over his young citrus trees on his plantation down in Burris. Hurricane Katrina's storm surge killed Jerry's Setsuma trees. Now this quarter-sized bug threatens to put Jerry out of business again. This is the Diaprepes root weevil, an invader from the Caribbean, whose larvae eat away at the roots of these replanted citrus trees. LSU Ag Center entomologist Dr. Natalie Hummel says if left untreated, this pest can destroy citrus trees within a year. It can very quickly destroy a mature citrus tree. It's been reported to happen in, in Florida. And here we have a grove where we have younger satsumas that are about um, two to three years old, I believe, and some of his trees have already started to die. They've been infested probably for about a year. The last thing citrus growers here in Plaquemines Parish need is another invasive species that will destroy these young plants. The Diaprepes weevil is particularly heinous because it can live in the soil for months, adding to the cost of treating it, plus it has no real natural enemies. You're going to see the root damage here. Plaquemines Parish County agent Alan Vaughn says immature Diaprepes root weevils can munch on the root systems of citrus trees for up to 19 months before they're even detected. It's dead, so we lost a year or two growing. Beside that, we could have had a tree that was going to give us an economic boost, kill the tree, so we got to start over. Plus, it's an uh, incubation ground for more problems because those immatures are going to come up as adults and cause problems to other trees. Treating for the diaprepes root weevil will be difficult. It has more than 270 reported host plants, so it could be hard to contain. Moreover, citrus producers won't be able to chemically control the root weevil like they did for the infamous citrus psyllid. A person maybe could have done two sprays a year, even for psyllid management. And now you're going to be having to put out a spray to control the egg stage of this pest. Then you're going to have to put out a soil barrier two to three times a year to prevent adult emergence out of the soil. And also at the same time when they're penetrating down into the soil, and you're also going to have to be putting out foliar sprays to control the adults. As for Jerry, he says the diapreppies root weevil may be tough to deal with, but he's tougher. I'm a fighter. I, I'm just going to keep on trying until I can't do anything no more. In Buris, I'm AJ Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now the diapreppies root weevil has already established itself in Florida and Texas. Louisiana Department of Ag and Forestry officials say the treatment of infested areas will be mandatory to lift any state-imposed restrictions on orchards where the weevil has been detected.